All right, folks, it looks like we're going on an adventure. We're going to see what my brother, Nonstop Disco, has been up to in the nether. Oh, yes, that dangerous, dangerous place. But first, let's get some gold on. Haha, -ha, we're off. We're off to find the Rabbit Island portal. And I'm not exactly sure where it's at. Get into the super scary nether. <laughs> We're going to Rabbit Island. Oh, I remember where it is now. Wait. I went to the wrong spot. Going back. Okay, I think I think I found yes, this one. No wait. Okay. It's not stop disco. Brad, where are we going? I wanna see this nether build. It's a bit of a walk. shot one yes one shot one kill that's right that's my brother okay this is like a path i can run wee, wee. Ooh. blackstone this is cool yeah oh my gosh so you can make like a, a dark fortress in this area that'd be pretty sweet Ooh, is this where he's gonna play it nice nice you got here that'll try to play Strider girl, Strider thing. He's happy, I bet. <laughs> Oi! The future spot of Hades Domain, also known as Nonstop Disco, back there. <laughs> this is cool. I like it. Okay, how do I get down without burning myself to death? <laughs> Okay, that's better. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get out of this armor. Welcome to Flower Island. It inspired the creations that my brother Eurotic built, in which we're standing in, including this really cool portal. Look how super tall it is. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, that's an extra special portal. Do you hear a chicken? I could totally hear a chicken. Chickens? No chicken in there. No chicken there. Mm. That, I believe, is Flower Island. Chickens? Chicken in here? No, just stone. All right. Well, let's go up. We got a very classical build of um, stairs and bricks and some, oh, very cool armor stones. Lots of stairs. Oh, pretty. Look how pretty. This is the flower forest. This is the tower. Welcome to Flower Island. I wonder if my brother would take a nap. Oh, he's in the nether. I can take my own nap. All right. Take a nap. Yeah. This is a really small island, but it's super cute. It's kind of a uh, jumping off point for other builds. And let's go down the hippity hop tower, baby tower. Okay. Uh, that doesn't make my tummy feel good. This is the reason. Wait. Egg. Where's that chicken I've been hearing? Chicken. There you are. Hmm. 
this is the reason we've come to Flower Island, because I want to show you a build that I've been working on with my brothers and my nieces. It's when I started and invited the rest of them to come and add to. Oh, this is cute. I like this. But before we go, we really need a change of clothing to fit in. That's better. We are ready to go and blend in with this ocean build. We are going to be a flying squid. You're ready for flying squid takeoff. Whee! Now, we're gonna follow these buoys I made a very long time ago over <laughs> to this giant build. Welcome to the floating scavenger island. And now I am a squid. Bloop, 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 bloop. Squid, squid, squid. Bloop. This is one of my favorite builds. I had never built out on the ocean before. And I found out that my brother, Nonstop Disco, absolutely loves builds on the ocean. Mostly because when you fall, you fall in the water. You don't normally die. <laughs> I have to agree. That's a great idea. This was inspired because below us, way down there, is where our ink portal is at. And I wanted to do a cool build to highlight and bring out the fact that this is where our end portal is at. So I decided that people came out to the end portal to mine the various resources from the end. And in order to do that, they set up this floating island and they scavenged a whole bunch of stuff from whatever they could get to create these these floating builds. And as the sun sets, I'm gonna go up and show you on this little ladder the book room of the workers where they stay and they store some of their stuff when they're working the end portal. This is one of many kind of bunk rooms I've made in this build. And I like the mishmash of different stuff because it is a scavenged build. And it has really unique little crannies. And then wherever they can, they put plants because they need to um, make sure they have food while they're out here on Scavenger Island because maybe shipments don't, you know, come as quickly as they should. But they also are using some technology with water tubes. And this is a big, big tube. Like you can see it's, it's old. It's been here for a long time. And this is maybe where they pump in seawater. And over here we have a bit of storage and this big tarp that covers part of the floating island. And yep, there's definitely storage. And here's another pipe. We don't know where it goes to. And here's another one where it's definitely the water's flowing out. And I really like that. I really like that it's like pumping water up and coming down like that. And over here is more, well, that's nothing. Oh, that has lots of sea pickles. A bunch of stuff that they've imported from from the ship. And this ship is a barge. And it's captained by Aqualama. Mm -hmm. Came out here with a trader and decided he wanted to stay. And this cargo lashed down. 
from which you know, um, it's bringing to the floating village. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you more of that build later because it, it was a lot of fun. It's kind of based off of steam engines. In here, though, is the heart. We got some various uh, mechanics here. But this is where they store items that have been harvested from the end and they're ready for shipment. Over here, they have some protective clothing, helmets, and this, or the, these are the pipes. All right, these are the pipes that go down. And before we go down the pipes, I wanna show you. This is what it looks like underneath. The pipes go all the way down to the end portal. And it's la the flat floating platform is kind of lashed to these pipes. And I really loved uh, boop. <laughs> I really love doing this build because it was kind of, you know, um something unique from the space. Oh, look. They're squiddy kind. Hello, squids. Am I one of you? Um, I like this build because it combined like new technology and kind of older technology and then the scavenge stuff. And you can see how they're, they're floating on some of those wood platforms there and it's built up. Has little decks there. And then I made like these conduits and then these wiring all over the place and then oops. <laughs> uh, like I said, from where where wherever they could find material to make it, they made they made this scavenger island. Yes, I am squid. They made the scavenger island so they could harvest all the end materials, and I really like the story behind that. But let's go down quick. Um I haven't done a lot with the end portal. <laughs> I have um, where the pipes end up, which is down here, and there's some signs. And I, I liked using the different colored glass because now we're in kind of a, a wet, moldy area, which is different from up there. And then this pipe leads back up. And then, of course, here, here's our end portal. Uh, one day I might, I might, or somebody else might come down and add to the, the build down here. But it's, it's deep in the ocean, in the bedrock. Well, not bedrock anymore. Not bedrock anymore. I haven't been over here since 118 update. Back up the pipe. Ooh, what a jump. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how they uh, get to the end, and they get all of this stuff to send out to the rest of society, wanting all the end gear. But eh, oops, sorry, <laughs> we can go up one more level because all the space on these floating islands are used. Here they're catching rainwater because ocean water is stuff you can't drink. They're uh, growing crops. In this case, there's pumpkins. Over here, they have my take on solar panels. So this is supposed to be solar panels and they have wires to these like generators and then they're cabling them out to the rest of the little platforms. Well, some of them are quite little <laughs> of the scavenger floating island. And I have posted uh, pictures of my builds on Twitter, if you're ever interested. That's where I, I normally post a, a screen pic of what I'm working on. And this is one I've, I've worked on for quite a while. I've had help from my family. And that's one I really like. Oh, behind me? crow's nest because you you know they got a lot of stuff on here that people would want to steal so they they have a crow's nest and a bell so if they see pirates or people wanting to 
fight. And you can ring the bell and protect the scavenger floating island. However, <laughs> that's all I'm going to show you today of the scavenger island. Uh, but I will continue to come back and show you around for the rest of the builds that are on here. It's really cool. I did some research and into, um, like I said, uh, early steam engines and how to desalinate water, which means to take ocean water and make it so you can drink it, which would be very important for anybody living out in the oceans. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.